Howdy. Today we are going to be discussing some of the challenges you will face when you sit for your Autodesk certified user exam in Fusion 360. Um, one of the most important things to consider is the amount of time that is available. It is 50 minutes, five zero minutes, and you will face 30 questions, three zero questions. If you do the math, then you know you cannot spend two minutes on each question and expect to finish. You need to be accounting for more like a minute and 30 seconds for each question, and that would give you time to complete every question. However, I will say if you get stuck on something, it's better to mark it and skip to the next once you see that it is going to exceed your time allotment that you individually feel is justified for the question. Uh, I also would discourage you from closing out the data files. Uh, you will be prompted to use the file menu to open files. Okay. And you want to open those from your computer and not from uh, the cloud. So please make sure that you're prepared to open those exam files. The path will be shown in the upper left hand corner of the testing environment. When you are in Fusion 360, I'm going to cover some of the expectations that you know. <clears throat> how to perform basic functions. Uh, you'll be challenged uh, several times to modify sketches. Uh, for example, it's possible that you could be told to make this line segment and that line segment parallel. You can use your constraints. You see you have quite a few different options. I'm giving an example. Uh, I'm not guaranteeing that you would be requested to make line segments parallel, but this is how it would be accomplished. By selecting the two line segments, you can make them parallel. However, this would not be the answer to a question. You would be more likely requested to first perform that operation and then provide a missing dimension, like it may ask you. To provide this missing dimension right here, which turns out to be 50.064. So you would type that 58.064, or you would choose it from the list of options. And obviously, if it doesn't show up as one of the list of options, then you've done something wrong. Another uh, opportunity that you may face is to perform a revolve feature. So if you are given a sketch and you are expected to revolve it, you would use the create menu and revolve that sketch profile. And you would also need to select an axis and whatever dimension in this case i'm going to go ahead and revolve 360 degrees okay so at that point in time again even though i produced the requested object from the testing environment i still probably have not answered the question they will typically ask me to provide the mass of that body in grams okay and I can find that by right clicking and then go to my properties so this is where I would find the mass or the volume I could also be prompted to tell what the volume is